Okay, let me attempt to teach you back mills. Very, it's my favorite pattern right now. Well, there's a lot of favorite patterns right now, but a really fun one to get. Really incredible for behind the back dexterity, getting a good kind of back of the shoulder pump and for that spine uh, torso shift, like ability to, be, the closer we, our hands come to the torso, the sharper and more accurate we have to be with the torso. And this is one of those patterns where you've got one hand at the top of the spine, one hand at the bottom of the spine, and we're really having to crank some speed, kind of like the dragon hug, but slightly different. So prerequisites would be cheetah's tail for sure. If you can do cheetah door, which is the matador cheetah's tail, that would be helpful, but not totally necessary. But essentially, back mills are like a cheetah door. It's like a double spin on each side. It's kind of four revolutions for one full completion of the pattern. What we want to do is we'll just do one side at a time. So we'll do it on our right side, my right side first. It's going to be mirrored for you. So from cheetah's tail, when, I'm, when it comes to my right side, I let it do the one spin. And then instead of going back to the left, I bring my right hand up to the top of my spine, my atlas bone up here. So it's behind the back, atlas bone, and then I twist. And that's the movement you have to get is this hand high twist. And we'll go again, boom, and back into cheetah's tail. So I do one spin and with that spin, the hand goes high to the atlas bone. And then I have to rotate back and I have to completely turn my body like I'm going between two panes of glass to let the rope come flying out. Kind of, I turn 90 degrees so it can come out head on. And I've got my back here and I'll show you from the back so you can see that. Hang them tight. Hang them tight, twist. And it's gonna hit your legs, still hitting my legs. Hang them high and then it's that sharp twist that you need to get. And you want to glue the, the bottom hand to the back here. Hand, thumb pointing in, glued to my coccyx right there. Top hand goes high, glued to my atlas bone at the top. Boom, twist. And then you just have to drill it on the opposite side then. Again, one spin on the left, hand comes high. Boom, boom. So make sure you drill it on the left as well. Hang them tight and we twist. Rope comes through. Go really slow if you want to begin. So just imagine the rope swinging. Boom. And it comes out that side. Then you just put them both together. Another similarity that I find is if you can get in and out of cheetah's tail with the overhand sneak, the underhand sneak pattern, which is one of the ways to get in and out of cheetah's tail, is you come out with the hand high. It's kind of like that. So the hand's going high, but instead the rope stays behind and we twist the torso. So that is back mills, really fun. Like when I first saw it, I was like, what the heck? That looks really sick. I really like how it looked. And it just, the rope pattern just keep evolving. And it's totally a functional pattern that came from nowhere. That's really cool. Give it a go.